Mackay, they're both way up the ground, the key forward, so you can see the hesitation. Another bold kick, it's going to get to Chera. Now a good opportunity coming up. Chincotta for his first goal in the big time. He's got it. Alex Chincotta, first goal in AFL footy. That's your line, man. Attacks the goal square again. Here comes Wright. Dislocated his shoulder in the lead up to round one. No VFL football. Straight into the AFL and straight back for Peter Wright. Runs had a huge amount of early footy. This is disposal number eight coming up. Stringer from behind. Matt Peter Wright. He thought he had the mark. It's so loud out there. Was this a mark, Daisy? Really handy acquisition. Inside 50, Draper can't quite get there, but did enough to spoil Weedering and force a spillage. Langford taken down. Holding. <laughs> Holding here. 45 out, slight angle. And he steers it through. <laughs> Fighting really hard, Snelling. Chera again just wheeled himself to get it going the other way. Walsh, this is an important kick. It's not a great one for Mackay, but Hold he in. might have drawn a free kick. <laughs> the troubles that he's had in this part of his game. You get the feeling this is the range he likes, but he's gone low. And that is a disappointing result. Bouncing football beat McGrath. Akers will come one way. Mason Redmond the other. Kerno, Kennedy, Blues are out. Now an opportunity. Oh, he's inside 50 all by himself. He can track out after this football and turn. Will he go or go to Martin? He sets sail for home. Martin with the sit in the square. Into the corridor. Can De Koning get there? Front and centre. Nicely done. Chera, who's having a big night. 16th touch for Adam Chera. Goes to Mackay. Just had to prop Drop on the, the lead. But again, we see Zerk Thatcher give away a free kick. Perfect. <laughs> to Martin for his 18th touch. He sizzles one to Menzi. So they did a good job, Essendon, of keeping the corridor open there for the kicker to go through. Wright's got the sit on Young. Push, Essendon. So as Young took his eyes off the ball, it was done. Right from 50. Steers it through. His second. Durham runs onto it. Handball behind Caldwell. Time to fetch it. And spiral at high inside 50, punched away from Wiedemann, taken by Martin. Langford's handball over the top, releases Snelling. He goes short to the pocket and finds Merritt. A little buffer early in the third. And he does. Perfect start for Essendon. Can he get past Saad? He can't. Ball still alive here for the Bombers. Guelphie steps through some traffic. Off to Martin. Holding. Essendon free kick. Low and straight. Hobbs steps through. Releases Merritt. He's got Langford inside 50. Spots him now. We'll go deeper and find Peter Wright. And the Bombers are cutting them apart early in the third. Merritt smart enough to pull the trigger. He had Peter Wright on his own in his first game back. Can kick his fourth goal. Smashing them in the clearances this quarter. 8-1 now to the Bombers. Hobbs receives from Martin. Now to Caldwell. On to Guelphy. Time for a fumble. Back to Caldwell. On to Menzies. Bombers on fire! First and third quarter have been Essendon's way. Second was the Blues, but then Essendon have been able to capitalise, particularly in this third quarter on the scoreboard. Yes. Martin beat everywhere again. 28 minutes since the Blues' last goal. Can Kerno deliver here? He pulls one back. Laverti sweeps a handball to Redmond. They look so dangerous when they get it in the middle. And there's that run from behind again. 
Redmond release, the give and go, gets it back a third time, looks inside 50, can Silvani get there? No, he can't. Scintillating football as the Bombers carve up the middle of the MCG. Peter Wright for goal number five. Mr. Wright indeed. Jake Stringer will look up. He can go over the top to Kyle Langford. Pretty well weighted kick. Langford will turn around. Menz is the only forward. He will go in that direction. Getting back Doherty. Carpenter back on Mass. Young's popped it up. Inexplicably. Kick goals in each of his last seven games. Jai Menzi. And he will love every bit of that. It's all the Bombers here at the MCG. Down. Will attack inside 50. Silvani one-on-one -on -one with McGrath. Silvani doesn't complete the mark. Has a couple in support. Kerno is one. Charlie bends it through. Loitering with the body strength. Able to guide it down to McGovern. Saad dispossessed. Searching handball was in the direction of Corwell. Kemp on the ball, has ben. just dropped it cold. Crescent 11-2 on the night. Make that 12-2. He is pumped, Jai Caldwell. Wide for Doherty. And the Bombers win four in a row for the first time since late 2019. Essendon claim the first King's birthday rivalry clash and hand the Blues a six straight loss. Must be extremely proud of your team's performance. Challenged at half time, came out after the break and was absolutely scintillating football in that third quarter, especially. We know when teams have got their back against the wall, they're going to come out hard. So it was a key focus for us. It's going to be the grind in the first half and we we're just going to wear them down. And we uh, and we did that just. Your back six had your hand full at times with Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerno. How do you think that played out? Keeping the total score to six goals, pretty good, I would have thought. Yeah, we're happy with that. I mean, we helped each other all night and. Uh, we played some aggressive footy, which uh, was what we wanted, and I thought we held up pretty strong. Currently six on the live ladder. You must be absolutely pumped with that. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Great feeling when you're winning, boys are up and about, so keep this uh, rolling. Congratulations. I'll have a chat to your partner in crime down there, Mason Redman. Mason, congratulations. Uh, playing alongside the big man down there. We're talking about how good that back six and how steady you feel at the moment. Do you, do you sense that when you're out there? Yeah, I think we've got a great relationship. It comes from we all played a lot of VFL footy at the start of our careers together albeit at other ends of the ground and that sort of thing. But um, I think Jaden typifies our back line. He puts in the hard work, always puts his body on the line for us. That's what we love about him. Yeah, he came streaming through the corridor a couple of times tonight. It must be nice when you look up and you see the big man, Peter Wright, back up there as a target to kick to. Yeah, well, usually I look straight at the goals, but Big Pete was, buddy, he was owning the Ford 50 tonight. It's awesome to have him back and seeing him work alongside Weeds. Obviously, Weeds didn't get the um, quarters tonight, but... Uh, you can see how well they're going to work together and hopefully they can uh, be the start of a good forward line for us.